so good We're loving and hating and making scenes Now we just see everything we believe We just see everything Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Coast, Coast and Game. I'm going to show you guys for and today in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about time management or basically how to balance YouTube and school and work and how I pretty much do that. Now, before I get into this video, I need you guys to subscribe and like the video and comment. Don't forget, don't forget to click the bell, turn on post notifications. Also, check out my music channel. We're almost at 50 subs. We're like right there on the verge of it. Link in the description. Anyways, on this tip video, well, how to video, whichever you guys want to call it. How I basically time management, how I develop my time management skills, because I used to be really, really bad about it. Now, I'm, since I've been working at Subway for so long, you have to pretty much develop them. You're forced to develop them. Like, if I want to make sure I get, make, make people's sandwiches, also get chip rack done and bread pull done, I have to, like, do it in a certain order and get, like, let's say I'm, I notice I'm a little bit busy, so I'm going to do the right I'm gonna do the wheat bread because it's only 30 compared to the 60 and I can do that faster and I can already do it pretty quick and for me to just how I do is I lay down the bread next to the side and I lay down the tray and then the plastic thing I always put I always and I put it on there throw it in there real quick instead of how my other coworkers do it and it takes them about 15 20 minutes when it takes me about five because I just put it on there and put and then put it in the fridge real quick real quick in the retarder yes I know it's called a retarder it's great right Whereas there, they will sit there and fill all up, fill up all the bread tray, and then they'll put them in there. That's just a waste of time, honestly. And other things is like and having good time management skills looks is really good for jobs. It makes sure that you're there on time. Like if you have poor time management skills, you're most likely going to be late to things. You're most likely going to be a lot of procrastination. I don't procrast procrastinate as much when I have when I'm having like a good time management day some days I'm not so good most of the time I'm generally pretty good at it I don't have that many um, faults for it anymore I generally am on time or I try to be as much as possible and I don't mess up that too much and you can start developing these pretty easily like plan like you plan it out either you can plan on writing an agenda or you or what I do is I pretty much plan out my head and then I go from there if there's any there's like always like plan B and C and all that. So I can kinda of just, you know, kinda of stay focused. It's mostly just staying focused. There's a lot of things that go into it and if you like if you try and stay away from distractions. Distractions will definitely make it worse. And another thing is like you can learn to say no. It's a big thing. Like some people will be like, "Oh, let's go do this," or "Let's go do that." Learn to say no, because doing other things can make it difficult. Now, complete the most important task first. It's one of the be biggest things you can possibly do. Once you complete the f most important thing first, then you're like, "Okay, now we got the most important thing done." A lot of people, like most time, I don't, I used to not do that. I used to do the easiest thing first, but you do the hardest first, you go the hardest thing to the easiest thing. It makes it go by a lot faster. Of course, get enough sleep. I don't do that. <laughs> Vote your entire focus onto one task at hand if you can. If you can multitask efficiently, I suggest you do that instead. Now, always get an early start. That's why I try and go to work early. And so, I, and I start cleaning like 30 minutes for closing. And then I close, and it makes closing go by a lot faster than how I used to be. Um, un don't allow unimportant details to drag you down. What it means is like, pretty much focus on what you've had. What focus on pushing forward instead of how much you've completed so far. Because focusing on like how much you've completed so far can distract you compared to just focusing forward. Turn key tasks into habits, like leave like a buffer time between tasks what that means is like the like average time like you should have like spare time you should have leftover between tasks so if you finish it more quickly you have more time to start the new one or if you finish later then you still have time for the next task and if there's anything that's not essential I definitely suggest you kind of get rid of it like get it out of the out of the loophole of what you're doing and one of the another really good thing is that just focus on what is most important first and then go from there. 
It is one of the best things you can do. And once you have good time management skills, you can pretty much manage anything. Like, focus what is more, more important to you over what is not important to you. You know what I mean? Like, I, right now I'm trying to focus on finishing all my credit recovery classes compared to other things. So I kind of focus on that first, and I've been getting them done fairly quickly. And then there's also college. I also focus there at college to make sure I get everything done there. There's a lot of factors you just got to throw in. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, anyways, we're going to take a quick little break from talking about time management skills. I just want to say thank you guys for, if you're still watching this video for all the support on the channel for almost 15, for over four, uh, 1,400 subs on this and on the second channel with almost 50. It's pretty, pretty amazing so far, honestly. And it means a ton to me. If you guys like Assassin's Creed, I know I'm talking over Skyrim because it's been a lot of Assassin's Creed lately. I just want to take a break from it. Definitely go check that out. Now to basically sum up this video, focus on what is most important first. Add buffer time to that. Well, focus on what's most important first. Create your schedule. Add buffer time. And then you should be pretty good, and that's a good way to start from there. And as over time, practice does make perfect. And the more practice you do for your time management skills, the better you get. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'll be definitely be seeing you in the next one. And I can't wait to see you guys Friday when I talk, do my commentary video. Peace out, guys. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Yeah.